Oh, look at that! Right there, little baby file fish. Look at him. Chasing around the leaf. Little invertebrates. That's exactly what I was talking about. Are those seahorses? Seahorses! What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are here at the docks and we got a whole bunch of seaweed along with microfish. We also got our nets and we got the bucket. And pretty much the goal today is to try to net as many microfish and invertebrates as we can. Like I said, we got a lot of seaweed out. So hopefully that helps with a lot more creatures coming out. But anyways, I'm not gonna talk anymore. We got the nets. We're pretty much gonna go on a netting spree, see what cool creatures we can net. And if we net anything cool, we'll be taking it home for one of our aquariums. Let's do it. So we're gonna add some water to the bucket. So whatever we do catch, we'll just add in here. And then if we decide we wanna keep it, we'll then take him home for one of the aquariums. Oh, look at that! Right there, little baby file fish. Look at him, on top he of the water. He's kinda big, isn't he? I mean, so quick. I got yeah. him, look at that. Dude, well, right, cool. bro, really cool. Right on top of the water, we got a little file fish. The texture on these guys are so cool, but they absolutely love the seaweed. We'll get them in the bucket. Literally first five minutes, we already caught little file fish. I'm not exactly sure the name, so if you guys know, comment down below. Boom. You know what? We're gonna take this uh, leaf here and we'll add it in there just so they have some structure and don't get stretched out. Oh, look at these little things. What are those? See them on top of the water? Those look like baby per uh, permit. Those look like, yep, that's exactly what they are. Baby permit. Oh, yeah. Look how sick that is, bro. That's a baby, baby. We'll put them back because you, you literally cannot take these guys. They're protected. So we're not even going to put them in the bucket. But this guy, you can really see. He's a baby permit. You see the black fins, the red eyes. That's so cool. Let him go back. We caught almost like... Oh, there's another one. In there. There's two more. Oh. Dude, we caught a lot on that net. But that is the coolest part about netting these little fish. Like I said, a lot of these fish are big old pelagic fish that come from the ocean, but when it's an incoming tide, they get sucked in with the seaweed when they're little babies, and then that's when we end up catching them. What is that? There's something swimming. Dark thing. So that's what we call a seed. That's a nice seed. That's a beautiful seed. Now you're probably wondering, where is all the seaweed? Well, it actually gets pushed into this corner just because it's incoming tide, but I first want to just scope out the docks and make sure we don't see anything just free floating throughout the water. And oh my gosh, wow, look at all this little bait. Should I net it? Look at that. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, I just got a glass minnow. Oh, look at that. Wait, what is that? It might be a baby ladyfish. No, that does look like a little baby ladyfish, doesn't it? I don't know what that is, but another little baby permit in here. In them here. Also guys, if you want to see a micro aquarium, I haven't forgot about that, but if you guys want to see it, let us know in the comments down below or give this video a like. Get it to 15,000 likes and we will come back and do a micro aquarium. Pretty much, we'll set one up either here or we'll have one at the house. We'll catch a bunch of stuff and bring them back for the micro aquarium and then permanently have them. Why do I feel like something's on this seaweed? Why do I feel like something? What is that? I don't know. What is that? But that's pretty much what it would look like, like these little micro invertebrates. Ew. Yeah. What is it doing? I don't know, but yeah, I want them off my thumb. Right under this dock, a whole patch of seaweed. We got it. The one under here? Yeah. Huh. Let's see. Uh, oh, little file fish, another one. This looks the same like. Same kind. Is it the same kind? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. The other one looked longer. This is more like a file, a legit file fish. You can see his little so cool. file right there. Let's get him in the bucket. Yeah, definitely two different kinds, but look at him. He's just hanging out underneath the leaf here. Oh, they both are. Look at him, <laughs> chasing around the leaf. Oh, oh an one. even baby one. Oh, oh there's, two. there's two. They're all different kinds. This has like a, here, let's get them all in the bucket, but they all have different patterns on them. Wanted... These are cute little guys. That is everything. We'll add some seaweed in there. Let them be all good. So this right here is where all the seaweed's at. I mean, there's literally tons of seaweed and we're gonna be able to go through all this and I feel like we're gonna find some cool stuff. I'm just gonna take random scoops. Take one scoop and see if we got anything in there. I think, oh, oh, look at that. Little invertebrates, that's exactly what I was talking about. But the coolest part is look at this. If he's in the seaweed, you're almost never gonna tell that there's a crab in that seaweed. Yeah, I think that was all out of that one, but it is hard, we probably pass over so many things, but we'll keep going through it. Yeah, we'll put this guy in the bucket real quick. 
All right, round two. We're gonna see if we can get some seaweed. I don't wanna do such a big clump because it's hard to really look through, so we'll do some little pieces real quick. See if there's anything in there. I don't see anything, dude. <gasps> Are those sea Sea horses! Oh, what is that? Bro, a baby triple tail! That's a baby triple tail and seahorses. Oh, that's Dude, so cool. wait, we're gonna get these in the bucket real quick. Hold on. No freaking way. We're gonna identify because I'm not 100% sure that's a triple tail, but I know for a fact these are little baby seahorses, dude. Look how sick that is. It doesn't even look real. No, oh, these are like, they're like very dark colored seahorses. And we've caught in seahorses here before, never this small and never this species. So we're gonna get them in the bucket real quick and then we'll figure out what kind or uh, what species this, this fish and these seahorses are. Holy cow, dude. Bro, we got to take these guys back home from their aquarium. And then what is this little guy, dude? What is that? He looks just like a triple tail. I got, I can't tell. That's for sure a triple tail. You think? Yeah, a thousand percent. It is. Yeah. It is a baby triple tail. Yep. So that is also another protected species. So these guys have a size. They have to be a certain size to actually keep. Obviously, this guy's a baby, but I'm popping up a picture of how big these uh, triple tail actually get. There he is. There's a little better view, and they actually come in all different colors from like yellow, orange, red, to brown. This guy is a little brown guy, and you can see he's been eating good. He's got a little chubby stomach. Here we go. Let him go his way. Look how sick that is. A little micro triple tail. That right there would be sick for an aquarium or a pond if you can get one that's legal size. So. Maybe one day we can. This has probably been one of the best netting days we've had in a while. We ended up catching a whole bunch of file fish, a whole bunch of other little micro fish, and on top of all of that, two baby seahorses that we are 100% taking home for one of the aquariums. I do have this little micro aquarium. It's like a nursery for fish that you could put in a bigger tank, and I'll explain it once we get home and you'll see the whole process. But I think that will be perfect for them for the meantime till we can set them up a little permanent home. Now, before we leave and head back to the house, we are gonna release some of our file fish here. So there's one of them. He's really, really pretty. He's got some really cool colors on him. Here he goes, right on the seaweed. Another little file fish. These are some of the coolest species. We'll get this little guy out and we'll keep the big guy. If they don't eat coral, I'm not exactly sure. We'll, we'll do some research, but if they don't eat coral, he'll go in the aquarium in my room. If they do, we'll put him in the 200 gallon. 200 gallon might look better. Oh, and there he goes, right there. <laughs> Last file fish. Other than that, we got our seahorses. We got our other file fish. We'll see you guys back at the aquarium. Alrighty, we are back home at the aquarium. We got this little drip line going. We're gonna acclimate these guys, give them about 30 minutes. And while they're acclimating, we also have our other little file fish acclimating towards the 200 gallon, cause that's where he's going. But these guys right here will go into this little micro habitat I set up. It's, it's not that big, but these are literally micro seahorses and we set it up for micro fish. So it'll actually be fine for now. Nothing can get to them. They can't get out. We'll add some seaweed, some branches and stuff so they can actually grasp onto. And I think they'll do good until obviously we set them up a permanent home. Now I don't have another drip line, so I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way with the cup. We'll add a cup about every, I'd say, 10, 15 minutes. So we'll give these guys, I would say about an hour or so to acclimate. Once they're done acclimating, we'll get everything in their aquariums. Alrighty. It is now time to get our little file fish in the aquarium. Oh, come here, buddy. Look how cool he is. Now you can definitely tell he has a whole different body shape from the other ones. Here he goes. Everything might like pick on him when he first gets in, but you gotta remember, fish don't have hands. So that's kind of their way of like, what is that? Once they figure out what it is, they'll just leave him alone. These guys mostly hang out on top of the water column. So we'll probably mostly see them at the top, maybe in those rocks and stuff, feeding off the algae and picking off of it. We're gonna keep an eye on him, make sure nothing messes with him and um, should be set to go. Now over to the seahorses. Now, before we add them in, I'm just gonna touch up their home a little. We'll add a couple of those in there. They're actually attached to the seaweed. That's probably how they were when we ended up netting them. Oh look, there's a little crab right there. But look at that, see him? Attached to that seaweed and go right in. This is such a cool little like breeder tank. If you ever want a fish, but he can't get along with the other fish or he's too small at the moment, this is perfect. And that's pretty much what we're doing with these guys. They're a little small for this tank. They'll get pushed around in the flow. So we're gonna add them in here. And then once we get that tank all cycled, the Nano, we'll then add them into there for permanent. Second seahorse going in. So cool. 
And like I said, guys, this is just temporary. Once they've outgrown this little breeder tank, we'll then add them into their permanent home. If we did just add them into this aquarium, the flow would be way too strong. So that's why we have this set up. It was honestly made for a little micro fish, but it will do the job for the seahorses as well. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any names that you want to name these little seahorses, comment down below and let us know. We'll be going through all of them. With that being said, though, guys, follow me on Instagram. It's popping up right here on the screen. And we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!